Welcome to this video of installing the OpenShift Container Storage implementation on OpenShift Container Platform. Now, OpenShift Container Storage is based on Ceph for uh, block, raw devices, and file, uh, file systems. And then um, they implement uh, Numba for object-based storage. We're going to install it on VMware, my VMware cluster, and um, it's it's actually pretty simple now. Um, there's two ways to do it. There's a, a, a local install and then an external install. And we're going to use uh, an operator to just get it installed locally. You'll see just how quick and simple that is. And that gives us access to uh, dynamic disk provisioning uh, in our VMware environment, leveraging um, the uh, uh, implementation of Ceph. So let's uh, take a look at the, well, actually, let's take a look at the environment. I've got a clean install here. Um, and I got three master nodes, three worker nodes. They're all up and running. I've logged in. Uh, oh, yeah, if we take a look at storage, we'll see that uh, I have a vSAN. Uh, I put my workers, and uh, this is the uh, clone image on the vSAN. And then there's nothing under vVols right now. OK, so let's go ahead and look up that driver, or that operator, rather, for uh, OpenShift Container Storage. Storage, or you can click storage here, and then we'll just slide down to OpenShift Container Storage. Select that, <clears throat> click install. Uh, if the OpenShift Storage namespace isn't there, it will dynamically create it for you. Uh, enable operator recommended cluster monitoring, sure. I'm going to do a uh, automatic uh, upgrade process. I'll click install. All right, this will take just a few minutes for it to pull everything down, and we'll take a look at it over here. Okay, nothing in there yet. All right, like I said, it'll take just a few minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, the operators have completed uh, their installation, so we can go to View Operator. Here we go. Okay, let's create our storage cluster. And the storage class uh, for uh, VMware Dynamic Storage is uh, do do do. This is called Thin. It's the only one that's installed right now. And capacity uh, two terabytes, uh, that's fine. I'm not gonna encrypt it. Um, here's the worker nodes that qualify for uh, the installation. So we'll select those three and they will be automatically uh, labeled uh, appropriately. And yeah, so it needs, uh, well, it's recommended 14 CPUs and 34 gig of memory. Uh, obviously, I'm not uh, provisioning that, so a minimum is fine. So we'll click Create. And we'll see that start to build out here. Okay, so it's completed installing. It does. It just does take a few minutes to do that. You can see all the containers here that have to spin up and get connected, and it provides us with these additional storage classes. If we go to Overview, we'll see that storage has now been uh, added to our dashboard, <clears throat> and we can go to Persistent Storage here and look at the storage capacity for uh, Ceph. Uh, you can look at it for projects, uh, storage classes that's, that's being used, uh, and pods. Uh, the capacity that's being used there. Uh, you can also get some basic performance metrics off of that. Um, data resiliency lets you know that it's uh, distributed across the three nodes. Uh, under object service, um, it's going to say degraded uh, on my system still. I, I'm not sure if that part's been completed yet. Let me click refresh here. Uh, no. All right, so resources are unhealthy. That's fine. Um, all right, so when you go to log into the multi-cloud gateway, um, oh yeah, it looks like it still might still be configuring here. All right, but when you go to log into the multi-cloud gateway, um, you can. I, I'm using Firefox and it doesn't like that, so let's uh, jump over to 
uh, Chrome. So we'll go over and grab the link here. See, copy link location. All right. Now it's probably going to fail logging into uh, logging into my cluster, and then it'll default to uh, trying to log in with the uh, um, Noomba panel. Yep. See, so access denied. So it'll take me to the Noomba login, and now we need to uh, put in the credentials for the administrator account. In order to get those credentials, uh, it should be stored as a secret. So let's go to uh, workloads, secrets, and we'll look at storage. And let's just type in uh, Numba. There's Numba admin. And here's my email address and the password. Keep me logged in. There we go. So now we're logged into Noomba. And we can see that there's a little bit of storage space. Uh, it does look like it's healthy now. Um, so we can go ahead and provision bucket access. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool tool if you want to grab uh, cloud-based storage too and maybe use that to replicate between uh, your on-prem cluster and a cloud cluster. Uh, so definitely give uh, Noomba a check out. I, I don't really leverage uh, object-based storage yet, um, still primarily on the individual lab, uh, but this does give you some additional access to that. <clears throat> and you can add additional buckets to it as well. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, our environment one more time. Run at uh, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? Oh, the yeah, object service. There we go. So now we can see that it's it's finally finished uh, building all the connections there for Numba. So we got a clean uh, object storage gateway, and our persistent storage is uh, ready to go too. So that's it. It's pretty quick and easy. If we go to VMware and we look at the uh, Ku balls, we'll see. Uh, a grouping of yeah, dynamic PVs, or PVCs rather, um, that have been created. Uh, these are being utilized by Ceph Storage now. So this is where the cluster is actually running. Uh, it'll provision storage from there. And we can look at uh, the PV states. Do, 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 right here. So now we've got all these PVs. And these PVs, the uh, identifiers will match up with the identifiers here. Um, so you'll be able to see those and you can see that these have been allocated as two terabyte thin. I've got my uh, monitoring volumes, which are 10 gig, and then uh, my Numba bucket uh, volume, which has been uh, pre-allocated at 50 gig. All right, so that's it. I mean, it couldn't be simpler when you're installing uh, OCS uh, on top of OpenShift container storage. Gives you a lot of flexibility and uh, from VMware into, uh, into your OpenShift container environment. Thanks a lot.